Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number four in past part first. In this part, first of all, you have to form the linear equation, and after that, you have to solve them by any method. And we know that there are three methods uh, by which we can solve any linear equations. That is substitution method, equating the coefficient, and cross multiplication method. So first of all, let Form the linear equation. According to the question, it says that part of monthly hostel charges is fixed, and the remaining depends on the number of days one has taken food in the mess. When a student A takes food for 20 days, she has to pay rupees 1000 as the hostel charges. Whereas a student B who takes food for 26 days pays rupees 1180 as hostel charges. You have to find the fixed charges and the cost of food per day. So let suppose the fixed price be rupees X and the price which which uh, the student has to pay per day for food. Price paid for food. This is per day price. Per day price. B rupees Y. And now we have to form the linear equation. And according to the question, it says that the fixed price, which is X, is fixed. And if you are paying rupees Y daily, and the first student has taken food for 20 days. That's mean if you are paying rupees Y daily and you have paid it for 20 days, so obviously the total amount you would be paying is 20 Y. This can be understood by if you are, if I am saying I am paying 30 rupees daily for the food and if I have paid 30 rupees for 20 days, so obviously the money which I have to pay should be equal to 20 into 30 which is 600 rupees. Similarly here the amount is y. So the amount she had paid for 20 days should be 20 y. She is paying a fixed amount rupees x plus she is paying rupees y for 20 days and the total amount which she is paying is equal to rupees 1000. So this is our first equation and it is in equation second a student who takes food for 26 days. Now for second student the fixed price remain should be remain same but now because the daily price which they have to pay is y and this student is taken food for 26 days the total amount which she would be paying is 26 y and fixed price and daily price in, in second case is equal to 1180. This is our second equation. Here the coefficients are already equal. What we have to do is only subtract these two equations. I am writing it here. This is x plus 20y is equal to 1000 and another is x plus 26y is equal to 1180. If you have to subtract these equations, what you have to do is change the sign. So this positive negative can be cancelled out. This plus minus is minus and 20 subtracted from 26 is 6 y with negative sign because greater value has now negative sign. And obviously if this value uh, 1000 is subtracted from 1118 so the remainder will be 180. So minus sign, minus sign can be cancelled out. So the value of y here is 180 upon 6, which is equal to 30 rupees. So in this case, the price paid for food per day is rupees 30. And if you want to find the value of y, you can substitute this value in any of the equations. Let's say I am substituting this value in equation first. So x 
plus this is 20 into y which is 30 is equal to 1000 so this is x plus 20 multiplied by 30 is 600 is equal to 1000 so value of x must be 400 because when 600 shifted to that side it should be minus 600 and 1000 minus 600 is 400 so the value of x here is equal to 400 rupees so the fixed price for hostel is 400 and after that you have to pay 30 rupees daily for the food thank you